think we take it well. to FIFA Save My Life. That uh, is Tuesday. It is a glorious day outside. You can't see it because I'm not showing you. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to FIFA Save My Life. Uh, today is a good day in the day of FIFA, as someone might say. Uh, uh, we have, as I predicted, in fact, uh, Harry Maguire Slabhead himself uh, it's team of the season uh, and you had to have done the league SBC now I was lucky enough that I, I did this uh, ready I had it all ready I had Norwich ready to go uh, I'd done all the rest of them and I just had to press go and uh, Harry Maguire is mine uh, so at the moment the league SBC has arisen quite steeply uh, you're looking at around 320 grand to get that done which for a 90 rated England Premier League centre back is not still too bad um, but yeah it's uh, it, it's it's rising by the minute uh, a bit like yesterday's SBC for the Premier League as well that that everything became like three or four grand minimum uh, I think the same will happen here uh, but he is a great card I'm going to do a review for you today uh, because I have him I've played a couple of games for you and uh, yeah I have a review is it worth doing the SP or well, not the SP well it is an SBC isn't it? Uh, a league SBC the Premier League SBC and getting yourself a 90 rated uh, Harry Maguire Man United England uh, uh, aka Slabhead well one thing to take into consideration is obviously it is 320k, uh, but you do get 20 packs back, guys. And at the moment, with uh, such cards as, you know, uh, De Bruyne 99 and uh, Van Dijk and people like that, there's a chance you might get one of those. And they are good packs in the Premier League. So that's the first thing to consider. Uh, but before we get into the actual review itself and get into the nitty gritty, as always, you know what I'm going to ask you? Hit a like and a subscribe, please. Uh, it means a lot to me, but it also means a lot to other people because I give 50% of my profits to charity. That is Mind the Charity for Mental Health and Wellbeing, uh, which again, as I always say, is very important at times like this because we're all stuck at home. So again, obviously, uh, there is people who need that support at the moment. Uh, so yeah, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Doesn't mean anything to you because it doesn't cost anything, uh, but it means an awful lot to other people. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, much appreciated. I salute you. So uh, we have Harry Maguire. Let's talk stats and let's talk how he is in game. Uh, we have a six foot four defender. Nice. Uh, so uh, crosses wise, uh, haven't been great on uh, FIFA this year, but they're going to be an awful lot harder with a six foot four uh, defender well known for his heading in the middle there and knocking it away he is high high uh, now what does that mean well high defensively wise at uh, great high attackingly wise uh, he does actually come out and almost become a bit of a sweeper he uh, in game I've noticed he, and you'll see down below in some of the uh, the the clips he definitely comes out and almost becomes a CDM uh, the good news is I have Ndidi who I did earlier on who one of my reviews if you're looking for it look on my playlist uh, but indeed he drops back in and actually Harry Maguire almost swaps so they're kind of swapping uh, between and it works really well so that I don't mind about but again it's something if you're having him definitely to watch out for because he does go on a little adventure every once in a while and sort of comes out the box uh, we've got two star skill moves well he isn't renowned for his skill so let's not be upset by that and three star um Weak foot, well, just play him on the right-hand side if you can, unless you have, like, someone lower than that. Uh, Stats-wise, pace-wise, now this is the thing. He's got a massive 21 increase on his stats uh, for his pace, uh, which is amazing. He was so low uh, with his ones to watch and all his informs. Uh, he was so low. Uh, in fact, I told someone today who I did a little bit of coaching with today uh, that he needs to get rid of him because, number one, this might be coming out, and number two, he's too slow. 
this one is not. Uh, 75 pace is more than adequate for a defender and especially when you can add an anchor or a shadow to them. Now, if you add an anchor or a shadow to them, the good news is uh, he becomes a 97 rated centre back. 97, an amazing seven point increase uh, to become a 97 rated centre back. The England defender, 97, uh, amazing, absolutely fantastic. So he has an acceleration of uh, 70 and 79 sprint speed, guys. Uh, we've got attacking position of 73, which for a defender is not not really needed apart from i suppose corners he stays in good positions uh finishing wise he's only got 57 uh, he has great shooting power of 82 and the rest of it's a bit uh, when it comes to shooting but that's not what we've got him for is it my ladies and gentles uh not at all uh we have passing at 85 he is brilliant at passing guys and i'll tell you why because he's got 87 vision uh and he has 99 short passing and 99 long passing this is john stone's move aside you have a new king of passing out from the back uh, and cocking it up occasionally you have a new king of that we have 99 99 long passing short passing that is exceptional ladies and gentlemen uh, we have uh, dribbling uh, great dribbling stats actually for a central defender uh, agility and balance as you would expect for a six foot four uh, hulky bulky uh, he is not great uh, but you have reactions of 96 uh, uh, yeah, ball control of 90, dribbling of 82, but composure of 98 people. Um, he, that is really good. And again, adds to his defensive stats, which are 91 overall. Uh, we've got interceptions of 87. We've got heading accuracy of 97. Expect no less from Slabhead himself. Uh, we've got 91 defensive awareness, 93 stand tackle and 88 slide tackle amazing guys you, you, you add that to your what you're going to get from your your anchor or, or shadow depending on how much money you want to put on him uh, both become 97 he will be maxed out guys maxed out that is amazing stats uh he is end game uh, uh i don't care what people are saying about his pace i think his pace is more than adequate uh and especially with attacking defensive awareness of 91 which will be 99 tackling of 99 and slide tackling 99 no problem you got jumping of 92 overall stamina of 76 uh didn't notice in my game Games with him uh, that being an issue uh, the only time that might become an issue is in things like weekend league and going into extra time because he is high high he is a little bit hyper which means he might run lower than others but if you keep a spare defender on the bench maybe maybe just maybe just comes on uh you've got 98 strength and 92 aggression strong like bull he is strong like bull he really will just keep that ball uh and he is he's very strong he keeps the ball up now how does he play in game i was amazed with him yes i scored a penalty with him because i thought that'd be a nice little bit clip for the, the actual video but uh, he was great, guys. Uh, he, he made a goal-saving tackle. Uh, he was uh, defensive, uh, amazing defensively awareness-wise. Uh, he was in the right place at the right time, got the ball, take it off. And when you had the ball, some of the passing distributing was brilliant. This is a great card, guys. Even for the price it's going to be, it is a great card. Uh, you've obviously got traits of uh, strong heading. You've got long passer and solid player. Guys, I can't say how good this guy is. Uh, I was looking forward to him. Uh, I wanted a big, strong defender. I want to go have someone who I can put next to Ben White and Trippier. This is my guy. Uh, I was hoping for him. I got him. At, uh, all I need now is Richarlison, and I am complete. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you hit a like and a subscribe. Take care of yourself, and if you can, find someone who can. Bye-bye.